Hey, Dan. Hi, how you doing? So I was monitoring the calls that came in the other day and a customer set up an appointment with us. We have on our, our form that when people book an appointment online, is there anything we need to know before your appointment? And she says, when the heater turns on, we smell dead animal or sewer odors when putting mm -hmm. our face close to the vents. So I just need to know if that's normal. <laughs> Do we need a cleaning or air filter replacement or if more is, if there's a larger problem? Well, I've certainly, I don't know if I've ever seen that exact problem before. So I sent it to you to, uh, to think about. So what do you, what do you think when you, when I sent that problem over to well, you? Two possibilities. The first and primary and probable, most probable cause for it is, uh, mold and mildew in the indoor drain pan associated with the indoor coil, the air conditioning coil. It's the one that's, it's wet all summer long, you know, running condensation from the air conditioner. And we can get sludge build up there. And when it dries out, it can take on a real stinky odor. So yes, I'd want to, I'd be most likely, I want to clean that indoor coil. A little household Clorox doesn't hurt a thing as far as a, a rinse or something like that after you clean it out. That's primary. Okay. Secondary to that is many, many air conditioners have a floor drain right in front of the furnace downstairs. And the trap inside that floor drain can dry out sometimes and you get an odor right in front of the furnace. You know, So it's right there in the neighborhood and can tend to get pulled into the duct system as well. So on that one, it just needs to water put in, in the drain. The odors are getting through because the trap has dried out. There's no airlock in that trap. So pour a little water, just pour some water. Or if you really suspect the odor right there, if you smell it, a little bit of the Clorox water would be a, a good way to go too. But In uh, the drain that's kind of very close to your furnace. Right, it's usually that, where they, like humidifier will drain out and stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. You know, sometimes we can get odors from that drain, and it's it's such a close proximity to your blower, and you know you can tend to circulate it through the house sometimes. So. Okay, so even if it's the floor, if the drain has some moldy, yucky stuff in it that's causing a stink. Because she said when we, we put our face to the vent, they're smelling it. So you said that that smell can just get into so the... So see, she's getting it through the vent. That, and that's where the first, the drain pane inside with your air conditioner coil is the probable cause. Because see, that that's in your airstream. That gunk, mm -hmm. that dried up gunk is in the airstream. So that's why we always recommend those pan treatments in the summertime. You'll right. virtually eliminate this problem. Right. And so that's kind of inside the unit. There's that little tray near the that's coil right. that where right. we typically will put in a pan treatment that kind of makes that clean and that's doesn't right. allow that gunk to happen. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And after using a pan treatment, these things really work. They, it okay. gives it a, a time release treatment to keep all that killed and cleaned out of there. And it really works. My dream pan will be absolutely clean as a whistle. So they really okay. work. I'll link to the video that we've done talking about drain pans below, as well as uh, there's a link where you can buy a drain or a pan treatment thing. So, mm -hmm. okay, cool.